This is the Balkan Adventures podcast. Everyday life and experiences in the Western Balkans. This podcast relies entirely on supporters who help to keep a sponsor and advert free to our community at patreon.com. You can pledge as little as $1 a month with early access to content and free giveaways. You will find a banner to our Patreon community on our website at balkanadventures.co. Thanks for helping us develop the podcast. Hi and welcome to another edition of the Balkan Adventures podcast with me David Bailey. And I'm an Englishman in the Balkans. Um, back home, or back where I come from in the United Kingdom, today is Easter Monday. But here in the northwest of Bosnia Herzegovina, where uh, most of the villages and the greater percentage of the population are Orthodox Christians, um, their Easter Monday won't be till next week. The Julian and uh, Gregorian calendars don't jive. So, as you most probably will have seen or read on my blog or on the vlogs, I do get to enjoy two Christmases and two Easter's every year. But it's a beautiful morning, this Monday morning. Um, the blue skies are back. Bit of a breeze, morning breeze. You can hear that most probably over the, the microphone. And we did have snow and pretty miserable weather for longer than usual. Spring should have arrived in real terms a good few weeks ago, but I'm walking down from the house through the valley um, down to the river. I'm going to do some droning today. I'm going to fly the drone, see if I can get some nice uh, pictures. But I had thought that there would have been some flooding after all the snow and the heavy rains we've had because that's what's uh, happened in the past. But today, it's, um, it's nice, really nice. And I'm stood by one of the drainage ditches, which normally is just full of muck and weeds and everything, but it's uh, full of water and it's doing its job of uh, providing the drainage from the mountains and hills round about down to the River Verbas. And in front of me, one of the many uh, fruit orchards that are here. So lots of rakia this year, um, either plum or apple, which will be nice. And there's the occasional plop as well as I walk past of the frogs jumping into the water. But the valley is uh, nice and fresh, I have to say. It's been a few weeks since I walked down here. All the brush at the side of the roads or, or of the road the single track asphalt road that will run out soon and just become sort of like muddy uh, that's all been cut away so yeah i can see everywhere just in the middle distance there's a an observation tower small one made of wood i don't know eight foot high nine foot high i don't know whether that's meant for hunters or just for just to see what's going on. City boy, you see, the last 16 years. And I didn't realize it's been 16 years since I uh, left the uh, military base just outside Banja Luka. I continued to work there, but uh, came and live, lived in the, uh, let's say in the community. Apart from the breeze, dogs barking, and birds chirping. The kites, we have kites that dominate the airspace over the, the valley. I don't know where they are today. They, uh, they came, they're normally here for a lot longer. But uh, yeah, and I haven't seen our blue jays in the garden. There's a breeding pair of jays that come back every year and the sun is rising i do have my fleece on because as i say it's a bit chilly in the breeze but it's feeling rather roasty toasty so uh, yeah tam and i were discussing and if you follow on our close facebook group an englishman in the balkans 
you can just search for that and just uh, ask for an invite we won't say no or we normally don't say no we've only ever had to ban banish two people for some rather inappropriate comments but we were saying that we would do our Facebook lives twice a week which we're still going to do um, and we would podcast them but we did a trial run the audio quality wasn't good and I actually thought that Tam was right when she said it just it just doesn't seem right you know we're talking about things on the fly listeners comments or viewers comments and then playing it back it just didn't seem to have any rhyme or reason to it so uh, maybe this will be a bit better but I know that you'll let us know because comments are appreciated and a review of the podcast would be nice as well this is the last house we're walking past now there won't be any more houses for quite some time everybody's mega friendly tractors in the garden it's just absolutely super um, lady working in uh, in a barn so the fields are all green and that's because they've been sown with maize corn so in the coming months that will all jump up and uh, harvested at the right time and turned into into flour and there's some cars up ahead and I don't know what they're doing there I don't think this is a a non-working day today maybe they're anglers or yeah can't think of them having a party at this time in the morning it's before nine o'clock so uh, yeah I'll continue walking to where I want to go near the bank of the river Verbas to put my drone up and I'll catch you there this is the Balkan Adventures podcast so back again and uh, right on the banks of uh, the Verbas it's a beautiful river runs from I think oh down in the south of the country and then right up until the River Sava which is the natural boundary border I think at the north anyway between uh, Bosnia Herzegovina and um, Croatia and then you can turn right <laughs> I'm not a sailor but you can turn right and go all the way down to the Danube and I suppose you could make your way back to the UK by water through various canal systems and by the way there were about 12 to 14 anglers um, as I passed them um, I don't know what sort of fish they're going for or if uh, the fish is particularly tasteable, tasty or edible and I wanted to come down here to fly the drone over the river um, I don't know whether I'm going to do that it seems to be a bit windy today but I can do some distance trials and I know that I can take some shots um, both video and static from here on on the uh, on the shoreline you can hear the the wind can't you you must be able to because I can hear it going underneath my baseball cap but spring is definitely here the birds are coming back it seemed just like only yesterday that were Y formations of birds flying south and there's a Y formation of birds flying north so uh, there we are I'll turn my back to the wind so time to do a bit of dronography now I'm out of the wind a bit all the fields here roughly tilled so they've all been churned up and uh, I suppose they come along with the next machine and make it a little bit more how do you say they would make it a bit more finer so they can sow whatever they they have to sow right time to get on and uh, do some droning this is the Balkan Adventures podcast on my way back the drone was I got some good shots I think check out the uh, Englishman in the Balkans Facebook group uh, you'll see them first there I think 
and I'll put them on the Facebook page and most probably on Instagram, you know the score. Uh, it'll go everywhere. Problem though was uh, it's been it's quite it's quite uh, calm now when I'm uh, being protected by the trees and the shrubs but there's a bit of a wind blowing down the valley and when I try to do pan shots dolly shots I think they're called with the uh, drone the wind was pushing it about too much so I don't think it's a uh, the DJI Spark, which is a small drone, is not the sort of drone for windy work. Good for a hobby blogger, vlogger like me, but I don't think uh, you could make money out of it. Um, well, maybe. Not that I want to do that anyway. So now, <clears throat> 15 minute, 20 minute walk, slow walk back, with my uh, trainers on, so going to be full of mud. Let's see how we go. This is the Balkan Adventures podcast. I just stopped to do some more droning. Tried to get uh, some shots of the house from a long way away, but I'm still not confident enough to fly it as far as I think I should be flying it. But we're getting there. At least I'm around about 200 metres, 300 metres now. And they do say you have to keep the drone in sight. But it's such a tiny thing, the DJI Spark, and my eyesight isn't what it used to be. But nevertheless, a useful exercise, some training. And I don't think you can ever really not learn enough. <laughs> and here comes one of the little village dogs, making more noise than anything. Hey! Dobro <laughs> dan! And another neighbour. So, uh, yeah, where was I before the dog started snapping around? Yeah, it's all about training, I think, and you never really stop learning, I don't think, anyway. So that's it for this edition, a little bit of walk and talk. Um, go and get all this mud off my trainers, because there's a lot of that, because it was very muddy down by the river. I can see the house now. It's next to the bus stop. We don't have any buses. Well, apart from twice a day during term time, morning shift pick up, lunchtime pick up and drop off, and in the evening bringing the kids back. But there are some villages in, in the country where children will still walk an hour or an hour and a half to school. Luckily, the kids in this part of the country and in this particular area don't have to worry about that so thanks for listening do subscribe it means a lot and if you want to leave a review on the podcast app that you pick this up on that would also be nice um, share it around on Facebook or wherever not begging it's just it's the only way to grow an audience these days is too many things to find when you type in Bosnia-Herzegovina you only find out about war and normal sort of like awfulness it takes a little bit of searching to find good things and I'm hoping that this podcast and the blog and the vlog give you some of that sun's up now and uh, yeah I think it's going to be a nice summer again but we're not there yet and I'll leave you for now Stay safe and well, wherever you are. Bye. To find out more about us and where we live, why not check out our blog at anenglishmaninthebalkans.com. See you next time.